Well, tonight you got the Kister siblings, Mr. Depression, Miss Enthusiastic, and Mr. Awesome. I exaggerate, of course. But Alicia, our sister, is going to be helping us tonight. We're going to move these bales. Uh, we got kind of behind on getting them hauled in. Yeah, I know, I get it. The, uh, we should have had them out a while ago, but the skids here had some issues. So Ryan's going to be running the tractor. Hank's going to be our manager for tonight. And we're going to go ahead and get these put in and put away before we get some more weather. It's 
last night to be doing this. I, I agree, it's late moving them in, but we had some unforeseen uh, circumstances being able to get them hauled in. We started to, but the radiator strung a leak on the skid steer. In that amount of time, we were getting it fixed. Some other things uh, came up that I had to address. Dan Ryan and I have all been running pretty well nonstop. But I'm thinking in another week here, things will slow down a little bit where we can kind of work on what needs to be done. I need, there's some maintenance that needs to be done the 76 yet in the round baler. <laughs> we never really had that lull between farm planting and summer work. Normally there's like a week there where I can work on some of this stuff. And honestly, another, all right, another two weeks, right around 4th of July, we're gonna be cutting the second crop. I want to try to make as much off this as we can because you never know what kind of winter we're going to have. I'd much rather not have to try to have to try to buy it in here. Need to ration it off. Last year, was, last year we cut it kind of tight, but the going thing around here is plan for the worst and hope for the best. Bales move so we can. Uh, my sister needs to head home. We got another maybe one or two trips yet. First crop yielded really, really heavily. Oh, it yielded better than it did last year. I know that for a fact. just trying to find the time to do some of these jobs. We got a bunch of tasks that need to be done. It's just um, trying to pick and choose what needs to be done first. I know is these bales are heavy. So that's why I have to back downhill every time I head back down to the pole shed. don't see it, but I do have my seatbelt on. I've been thrown out of, not this skid steer, I've actually got thrown out of my grandpa's 763 Bobcat when I was probably late middle school age. i tell you what, that hurts. I had a heavy barrel and that skid steer doesn't handle as much as this one does. Well, I had it picked up, so I was trying to stack it. And it got away from me. I ended up in the air and it pulled the front of the skid steer down and kind of ejected me out of the front of the skid steer. That didn't have the door on it. And I tell you what, I was thrown over the bar. Bit of a rough landing when I did hit the ground. So doing things like that kind of stick with you. Oh well. Lessons learned the hard way or the rough way, I guess. Got a little bit of everything to do everywhere, actually. Well, I need to concentrate what I'm doing. So, thanks for watching the rest of the story. I really appreciate all my viewers. 
got more videos on the way. Well, that's it for today. Um, thanks to big sister Alicia. And, oh, I'm sorry. Hank! Can't forget Hank. He's spoiled beyond belief and he pisses on me every time he sees me. He just likes you. <laughs> but, um, Alicia's done. She uh, hauled three or four loads for us tonight. That really helped us, helped us get done. Well, get, helped us get done while the sun's still up. It's recording you asshole. <laughs> but um, no, Ryan, I got some things we gotta do yet. Then we can call it a day. But at least we can say that the hay is hauled. Our first crop is hauled now. So, and in two weeks we can make second crop. So, with that, take care. Take it easy. Keep in touch.